Night Bird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and welcome to your full moon love forecast for February 2015. This reading is for Capricorn, and Capricorn, the full moon, is in the sign of Leo, which is all about expressing yourself in relationships, love and romance, exerting yourself in relationships. And Capricorn, I did pre-shuffle your cards right before the video, and your atmospheric elements are the attributes for the month is a card of really defending yourself. It's the Nine of Wands, and this is standing your ground against something. This is having the advantage against opposition in terms of you have a position of strength in relationships if you feel like you have to, you've had to defend your position or defend yourself in terms of someone else. If you're attached Capricorns, that is noted. If you're single Capricorn, this can be notable as well in terms of defending your position in terms of being single to other people. If, there, if people challenge you as to why you're single, if people challenge you to your decision making in terms of being single. So that's been brought up for Capricorn for the month of February. This is a strength card. It's a very positive card in terms of standing on your own, defending yourself and having the strength to do so. This is in your elements or attributes for the month of February in your full moon love sector, which is very positive. It's a strength card. Now, what's following this is the card of joy, traditionally known as the Ten of Cups. This is very relative to family. This is very relative to family support. This could be relative to children. This could be relative to large families. This is also a card of happiness and support especially coming from other people. Family may be prominent on your mind this month for Capricorns, especially if you have a family, if you're married, have children, even if you're partnered up with someone and have children. This is a card about family. This is joy generated from family in the Ten of Cups. So this is a very positive card. There is a card in your challenge position it's a court card that's noted in this position. It's the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is traditionally known as the Widow card for my studies in the deck. The Queen of Swords is possibly the most stoic queen in the deck because she's in, she's in command or she's in control of making decisions, especially for other people. This may be you. This may be where you're at in your family. You may be the head of household. You may be the one that makes the decisions most of the time, especially Capricorn women. You may be the breadwinner in the family. You may have much responsibilities. This could even be applicable to working relationships where you're the boss or you're the manager or you're the director. You're in command and you're having to make serious delegations. You may have certain obligations, the responsibilities that you are in charge of. And the Queen of Swords is representing the air sign. She's all about thought and logic and decision making and putting those skills into practice. This is in your challenge position, Capricorns, where you may be called upon to do these things. It's in your challenge position. You may have to make these decisions or be in command more than more than your regular responsibilities, perhaps, especially in relationships for the month of February. Coming out of your past for Capricorns is moving into a new direction. This could even be physically relocating as well, but this is escape from difficulties as well. This is moving into a new direction, and this is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, as all wands represented, are all about direction and movement, it's energy. The Knight of Wands, in particular, is all about energetic directions, moving into a new direction, being steered into a new direction. This is coming out of your past, Capricorn, so possibly for many Capricorns watching, you have been steered into a new direction most recently. Maybe perhaps you've actually physically re relocated, or you're moving into a new direction where there's other opportunities or relationships have been steered into a new direction. So keep that in mind. In your outcome position, you do have a relationship card, and it's the Page of Cups. Pages can represent children as well. This could be relative to water sign children, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Page of Cups in particular is an emotional sign, emotions, relationships, established relationships, and relationships that are really already established. 
So much may be surrounding a child this month. Much, much may also be surrounding a relationship that's long-term or a partnership that's long-term as well. And something may spring forth from this uh, child. Something may be communicated, something on a creative level. Something may also be communicated on a creative level in terms of expression. Once again, expressing yourself in relationships for Capricorn. Now Capricorn, I'm doing something a little bit different this month. I'm using an Oracle deck. And it's the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. And it's a beautiful deck connecting the insight and knowledge of the mermaids to the human consciousness. And I really enjoy this deck. And I pulled the card and reflections came up for you. Reflections also came up for the sign of Aries, which was nine signs ago. So this card did come up for Aries as well. So if Aries is your rising sign or your moon sign, keep that in mind. But reflections is all about what you contemplate can actualize, meaning what you give thought to can really come about. It can really, you can actually see it materialize. Your thoughts create your world. What you think is what you are. So what you think about, you attract. And this card is reflections and what you contemplate can actualize. So really pay attention to your thought patterns this month, Capricorn, especially in relationships. So good luck to you. Keep me posted. All love readings are 15% off. You can check them out at mikeportero.wordpress.com. Enjoy the full moon in Leo. Have a great month. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.